all right guys so thanks for all the love and support you guys have been showing to this django playlist so if you haven't already accessed this django course i want you guys to do this immediately because this is going to be the place wherein i'll upload all the videos and even if i come up with some new projects you'll find them here so it's a good idea to access this django playlist having said that what i'll do is i'll fire python manage.py run server and once I do this, my development server will be started. And as you can see that we had this hello form submitted false, which was kind of not looking very nice, but we can make it even better. So I want you guys to uh, listen to me for some time and let's talk about Django template language. This part might get a little boring, but this is the most important part if you are going to work with Django templates in the future. So Django has a documentation page on Django template language. I'm loading the page and once it opens, I'll show you. So this Django template language is basically the kind of logic and all the manipulation with the data that you can do inside the template. So for instance, I'll show you something. So let us say I want to add a task. I want to say go to the shop. Okay. Please go and meet the tailor at the shop. Okay. And I'll say submit. So form submitted true. As you can see, it's showing me form has been submitted. And uh, once I reload this page, you can see form submitted false. So basically in my index.html, the value of this success is either true or false. Now in HTML, you cannot handle if else, else if these kind of logics, you cannot even write loops inside HTML, but Django powers this HTML with some sort of logic. So using DTL, which is Django template language, you can inject the logic inside the HTML template. So I can basically say, if so what i'll do is i'll remove this success just see what i'm doing here i'm removing this variable which is success and i'm saying that only if success is true show this alert okay so i'll say if and once i type if you can see this extension that i installed is suggesting me this thing so i'll say if success if success means if success is true and once i press tab Please listen to me very carefully. This part is really very important, might get confusing for beginners. That's why I'm asking you to listen to me really very carefully. So I said, if success, and I pressed my tab key on my keyboard, now I can press enter and I can basically move this end if downwards. You might as well copy paste or if you are on some other code editor, you can type this somehow. You don't have to install this Django HTML extension. This is not a necessity. It's just a utility that you can use to type faster. Okay. So I hope you got that. Now, once I select this and press tab, I can basically get this indent. And what I'm saying here is I'm saying if success, only if success is true, if I'm visiting the page with a get request, success is false. Only if I am submitting the form and visiting the page using post request, success is going to be true. Okay. So since success is false by default, if I go to my home, I'll not see any alert. Now I'll say jQuery tutorial for beginners. Let's learn jQuery. And if I submit, you guys can see it shows me hello form submitted. So what I'm basically doing is I'm saying if this variable is true, show me this thing or basically uh, show this thing, whatever it is. In this case, it is an alert. In your case, it might be something else. We can use the same kind of logic in future. I can also write else if along with this if, but it's not my use case at this point. So I'm saying if success, show this alert. So basically I'll say success, and then I'll say uh, your task has been added to the list. And once I do that, I'll show you guys i'll reload this i'll say task i'll say task is that you have to um, eat some food okay submit and success your task has been added to the list and you can also dismiss this and this is powered by bootstrap uh, as i already told you if you have access to this playlist you know what i'm talking about <laughs> all right guys so we are pretty much done with our 
adding task but we need to dive deeper into the DTL which is Django template language. So as you guys can see that this extending of templates and template inheritance is also not HTML feature. This is also being powered by Django templates. If you remember I told you what template inheritance in Django is and you guys now know how to extend templates from a base template and then add the HTML of your choice on top of that base template okay now if you guys want to truncate words you can use something called template filters okay so if I search Django tags and filters you'll get a list of built-in tags and filters now what is this built-in tag or built-in filter basically you get some sort of uh, these things you can enclose your text with these things and if you for instance enclose your um, let us say I copy this and enclose some sort of text with this I'll paste so this is basically a comment comment means that it will not be processed further we, we know that we have HTML comments as well but if you want to have comments within DTL you can put your comments the difference between DTL comment and an HTML comment is that your HTML comment will show up when somebody goes to your page source so if I save this I'll show you guys um, I'll save this and I'll go to right click view page source and if I search this particular thing let me write something unique here Harry is good okay so I'm uh, typing this if I search this here it will not be found it says it's not found zero out of zero matches but 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 if I rather say use HTML template uh, not HTML template I mean HTML comment so HTML comment looks something like this and then you need to do something like this so if I save this then you'll see that I can see this inside uh, I'll say continue and I'll say control F and Harry is good is here so you can see the HTML comments in your page source but you cannot see Django comments in your page source the reason is the Django template is dynamically processed and this is processed when you inject some sort of data from views to HTML and then it basically converts it to one single HTML page and while it does that it doesn't take this comment into account the Django template language comment into account so this is basically how you can add some sort of logic and you can add some sort of filters we'll explore these template tags and filter in the future but I'll show you something uh, I'll simply say uh, I'll create a variable basically I'll say name then I'll say Harry okay so I'm basically adding a name Harry and I'm passing this context so if I visit this page uh, I should be having this name Harry inside my index.html so I'll say welcome to todos list and then I'll say comma name and this will basically show Harry if I reload this you can see it's showing me Harry because I'm uh, using this name name is Harry inside my context at the same time I want to point out something right here you can see that I didn't enclose this success with these curly braces do you know why because we already have this block so according to DTL syntax when you want to reference a variable you can simply say double curly braces and name of the variable and this will actually indicate that you are going to use this name variable and you don't mean name by this so you're telling to Django template hey Django template you know what I want to use name variable I don't want to enter name I want to use name variable but inside if Django already knows that you are writing DTL because you have enclosed this if with these things percent curly brace so basically you are already inside DTL syntax so you don't have to enclose it with curly braces this is something that you need to uh, keep in your mind okay now what I want to show you is if I use a template tag if I say name length I can use this template tag and I can reload and you can see it's showing me five so there are a lot of template tags and filters and if I show you another one it will be I'll randomly pick something I think one is called uppercase or something 
it's called upper so basically when you install this Django extension you'll not have to remember all these filters you just type upper press enter and you'll get the required filter so if I make it upper you can see that let me reload this this is converted to uppercase okay similarly we have lower as well so if I say lower uh, not load it's called lower and let me create this as capital H because you know what if this is already in lowercase there's no use of this filter so what I want to do here is I want to convert this name to partial uppercase basically I am capitalizing this name and if I reload this you'll see that it has been converted to all uppercase okay so if you want to convert something to uppercase or lowercase you can use upper or lower filter okay so I hope this thing is clear and I'll link this thing to the description and if I forget to link this in the description please let me know in the comment also you can simply search this Django template tags and filters and once you do that you can simply open this Django page whatever the stable version is 3.1 3.0 3.01 the versioning doesn't usually matter a lot at this point the stable version is 3.0 but it might get to a point where you'll have 3.1 um, the stable version is actually 3.1 at this time it's preview release and it will be released very soon but I have come across many people who come to me who say hey Harry you know what your tutorials are in Django 3.1 and Django 3.2 uh, has come and you know what they are now useless I want to tell you it's not useless at all if you go from 3.1 to 3.2 there is a minor change the change will not even matter to you you will not even know what the change is the change will be to the advanced feature basics remains the same most of the times okay so make sure that even if you are following this tutorial and the Django version goes to 3.8 or 4.1 it should not matter much okay so once we have this thing I think we are good I don't want to include this name lower I'll simply remove this one this was just for you know I just wanted to show you something so I'll remove this or rather what I'll do is for code sake I'll comment this and this also demonstrate the use of comment so I've commented this line out and I'll simply say I don't need this control s to save I don't need the comma as well now if I reload this I think we are good the next step now for me is to pull my task from the database and the database is this one it's the SQLite I'm using the SQLite database and Django under the hood is managing all the CRUD operations CRUD operations mean create read update and delete all the CRUD operations are being handled by Django okay so I hope you guys understood what I wanted to tell you in the next videos what we'll do is we'll create the uh, pipeline for fetching all the data from models and I want you guys to explore these template text and filters please and let me know in the comments if you will do that or not I really like it when people comment on my videos so please drop a comment and if you haven't accessed this playlist please make sure to access this playlist and also like this video this also makes me a lot happier so that's it for now guys Thank you so much you guys for watching this video and I will see you next time.